Well, I think Chris's contribution to the sport has been basically, he's just, you know, he, he's just always been there as far as I'm concerned. All, you know, all the years that I've been involved in the sport, um, Chris has always been kind of there at the very top level. I think if you look at um, Chris as a bike rider in, in cycling and over the, the years he's been involved in cycling, he's, he's been a great um, represent for uh, track cycling, um, not only in his achievements but also in, uh, in his way he committed himself to the sport and he represented track cycling, uh, not only in Britain, also uh, around the world. Um, and I think he's a, he's a, he's a great um, yeah, ambassador for track cycling and uh, it's a great um, person for young people to uh, try and end, uh, achieve what he's achieved. Uh, Chris's contribution to, to the sport I think it reaches beyond the sport. If you look at British sport, not just cycling, not just track cycling, British sport, Olympic sport, is one of the greatest Olympians this country has ever produced. Um, and Chris, along with some of his uh, teammates in the early days, like Jason Queerley, Craig McLean, and, and Jamie's staff, have helped elevate track cycling, British track cycling, to the fore and, and brought it into the homes of millions and we're all here today because of those guys and Chris was a fundamental part of that. Um, the contribution of Sir Chris Hoy to the sport of cycling in this country I don't think it's measurable. I think um, you know, he's put us up there with footballers and you know the recognition that you know athletes receive these days you know that are, the, on the back of you know the journey that he probably started some years ago back in Sydney right through with the likes of Queerly the staffs of this world, the Wigginses and so on, you know, I mean, I still think he's been the forefront of that, you know, because obviously the other guys have, have either disappeared over the time or wandered off to do other things. And, you know, Sir Chris has been the face of it. And uh, I don't think the contribution is measurable, but it's massive.